Thanks to TCL for sponsoring this video. CES is back. We are sitting here right outside, about to go in and check out all of the latest products from TCL. They announced a ton of awesome things from TVs to tech in your house. Let's mask up and go check it out. So I've generally gotten excited to check out TCL at CES because it's where you can see the latest and greatest TVs and the new tech they are working on. And as somebody who is going to replace their main TV this year, I am keenly paying attention to the whole TV world. And TCL the past few years has been upping their game in a giant way. There's a reason this TV was included in our gift guide and it's a reason it's appeared in several TV videos on our channel throughout the year. So this is their thinnest 85 inch 8K mini LED TV. Almost everything you would want from a high end TV is here. Uh, and from that, you can assume that this thing is, it's like packing a very bright punch. So mini LED started to become more prevalent and I think awesomely so uh, the past few years, large part to TCL kind of taking it mainstream. And with this TV, that tech is shown off in like the best way possible. So if you don't know, uh, mini LED is the next step from traditional LCD panels that we've all been used to. Uh, so while typically you'll have a backlight with a few dimming zones, uh, this new mini LED panel has over 2000 local dimming zones. Uh, that means you're going to get sort of things that were reserved for the OLED world. You're gonna get much darker blacks and high contrast without needing to go and spend the premium money that you would for an OLED set. Plus, there's super wide color gamut and Dolby Vision HDR support so you can get, again, those dark blacks and bright highlights, things that we don't traditionally have on previous generation LED TVs. Add on top of that, uh, 8K resolution, and this is one of the best panels out there, and it's pretty much close to future-proof. But getting that picture obviously isn't easy. What it's capable of is one thing. What it's actually gonna show you at home uh, is different. So the TV is being powered by TCL's IPQ engine processor. That is uh, a mouthful, uh, but it's the, the brains of what's happening. And what's powering a TV in a lot of ways is even more important than the panel itself. And oftentimes, I'm guilty of this too, you only focus on the panel. What's the resolution? What's the tech? But what's pushing all of that is equally important. So this processor uh, is using AI and deep learning to optimize the image in real time as you're watching. So you get things like enhanced color management with more accuracy, local contrast and black level control, local dimming to help with potential blooming and support for many of the HDR standards that are out there. It can be very confusing when getting a set. That optimization is also taken to sound as well. Traditionally, built-in TV speakers have sounded between garbage and slightly better than garbage. TCL is really looking to fix that. So there are built-in speakers here that produce what they're calling a vertical sound field. It's basically going to emulate the surround sound system. Uh, it's going to use AI to adjust the audio levels of what you're watching so you get the best listening experience to match. TCL's done a lot of things really well. They actually were one of the pioneers of not trying to make their own smart TV OS and having another app store. They've worked with partners that are really established. And so they're including Google TV. I use a lot of Google TV in the dongle sides um, at my house since it's really fast and fluid. Uh, plus it already has all the apps and stuff that I tend to use all the time. TCO didn't stop there though with things you can do with the set. You can simultaneously stream content so up to four different devices at the same time. Whatever you want to do, really this TV can handle it. It's going to work with whatever ecosystem you are in, which is really kind of the way it should be. So TVs weren't the only shebang uh, they were showing off. They also had a bunch of other really cool tech that was here at the booth. I know 3D monitors have not exploded with popularity, um, but I have not seen one like this before. So it is a glasses-free 3D monitor. It's 32 inches and 8K. So those specs alone are pretty awesome. Oh, but also it's got 3D um, and it's a touchscreen. So I, don't know, I thought that was pretty cool, uh, but TCL, has more stuff as well than just that. Uh, this is a 34 inch, 165 Hertz mini LED, and it's a curved ultra wide with FreeSync Premium Pro. Again, cuts mini LED, you're getting all that stuff we talked about, like the contrast ratios uh, and the really beautiful black levels and bright colors. This is probably gonna be a really solid, solid option for gamers. 
So this is the X series of their flagship range of TCL offers. So there are two models here. You've got the X925 Pro and the X925. Uh, with the Pro, as you'd expect, gives you a little bit more. So both are mini LED and 8K. And right off the bat, that should be enough to get you excited. The Pro on the other hand offers a more pro experience. Surprise, surprise. You're getting an OD0 mini LED backlight with 1,920 local dimming zones. So you're gonna get beautiful colors and dark blacks in a slim design. There's a huge emphasis here on sound as well. There's a 160 watt speaker with a 50 watt sub. So you probably don't need anything else except for what's going to come with the Pro. The non-Pro version, so the X925 on the other hand, offers 240 local dimming zones and a peak brightness of 1,000 nits. Uh, and it has a 60 watt speaker built in, not quite the same punch, um, still usable. And both of these run off of Google TV, have assistance built in support for HDR, 120 Hertz, pretty much anything you want in a TV is here. You can just figure out if you wanna go pro or not. So while the X series is the best of the best, uh, TCL C series is focused really heavily on gaming. It's still a mini LED panel, uh, but it's optimized in certain ways for best responsiveness and viewing experience. It has a low reflection screen, which I think is a must for gaming. Also variable refresh rate up to 120 Hertz, and it has FreeSync Premium and ALLM built in, so you get the best gaming response times. Plus there's great color. It's got 10-bit color depth, Dolby Vision IQ, HDR10+, and high quality Onkyo sound, the 60 watt speaker box and built-in sub. So even when you aren't gaming, you get an excellent viewing experience. So obviously TCL is known for TV, as talked about a ton here. They do make other products that also keep that same mantra of you know, quality at an affordable price. So things like phones, headphones, door locks, uh, and a lot of other home appliances. So TCL has actually created a protocol called Matter. And it's a standard that gives the product a seal of approval that'll work with other Matter certified products. So compatibility, if you've done smart home stuff, you'll know it's probably one of the hardest things it's compatible with one, but not the other. So having this standard known when you buy them, obviously is gonna mean that all of your IoT things will play nicely. Uh, TCL themselves make a slew of IoT things and home products that will obviously work smartly together. Meet the Breva A5. It's an air purifier, something that I probably wouldn't have thought about two years ago. But this day and age, having clean air that you feel safe to breathe, super important. Uh, so it's got a HEPA H13 filter, which is going to capture 99.97 of airborne particles. Plus it can cover a little over 350 square feet. Pretty big room. Uh, beyond the HEPA filter, there's activated carbon filter for odors and a Breva Shield UVC, which is gonna destroy DNA and RNA airborne viruses. Make your own judgment. That seems like something that maybe everybody could use. Uh, all of that tech is built into the small filter and it's got all the smarts that you'd want and it's gonna do all the cleaning for you. And it'll kind of along with that, this is the Suiva 6500. Uh, this robot vacuum takes care of the dust on the ground uh, and it's got all the tech you've come to expect from a robot vacuum. It's got laser navigation to help map your home and clean it most efficiently. It also has 2,700 pascals of suction, which I had to learn for this video, is the metric of suction. Uh, and it uses UVS sterilization, so you're getting a very deep clean. Also because, important to me because of who I am and inert laziness, uh, it's got a four liter auto emptying dustbin. Every day after the vacuum runs, it's gonna go empty itself and only have to empty the dustbin uh, every other month or so. Of course, it's smart. It's got an app it controlled with Alexa, Google Assistant, and it'll take itself back to its charger to charge itself whenever it's needed. And it's got a mini LED screen built in. No, just kidding. Along with that, TCL also makes air conditioning units, washing machines, refrigerators, uh, and a lot of other IoT things. So no matter what part of your home you are in, TCL probably has a product for you. So that was a lot of like mini LED stuff uh, and products that are coming. If you're in the market for a new TV and you've waited, TCL has a lot of amazing options. And if you wanna go out of the TV world into your home, to your laundry room or your closet, or even to your bedroom while you sleep, TCL's got something for you. CES is obviously different this year uh, than in years past. But what wasn't different was the innovation that is being shown. And it was cool to be there to experience it and hopefully share that experience with you guys.